Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today on Days of Our Lives, Connie keeps her half of the bargain with Bobby, who puts his own plan into action, while Gabby makes an unexpected proposal. Connie offers Phantom Lee breakfast in the apartment and informs him of her agreement with Bobby, she will take care of his romantic rival provided he keeps quiet about seeing her on the night of Lee's murder. Imaginary Lee inquires as to whether she intends to murder Rafe in the same way she murdered him. She dismisses it as an act of passion. It was not her fault. Connie recalls showing up at Lee's place months after their small bar date. Wearing a dazzling gown and long white gloves, she reveals that her ballroom dancing partner had cancelled on her. Because Lee's flat is on the way to the class, she decided to stop by and see if he wanted to go to the lesson with her. Having a rough day, a scruffy Lee attempts to get rid of her, but she forces her way into the apartment. She laments how many first dates she's had with inexperienced Neanderthals, but Lee actually listened to her. She's been unable to quit thinking about him. Now that he's finished with Melinda, she believed they could resume where they left off. In the present, Connie claims that if Lee had said yes to her, everything would be different. Kristen hands Ava her contract in the living room of the Demera. She will be in charge of Demera's new asset recruitment. Ava is content with her employment, but she wants to leave as soon as possible to avoid running with Gabby. Since I slept with her husband, she says quietly. Gabby wakes up in bed and paws at a sleeping Stefan. With his eyes still closed, he grins, wondering whether he is dreaming. When he is completely awake, he tells her to stop. He is still unhappy over the news conference. Gabby believed that after months of abstinence, he would be unable to keep his hands off her. She gets up from bed in a huff. Rafe questions Marlena at the townhouse about if she believes Bobby knew anything about Lee's murder. She realizes he could be playing Jada, but she doesn't think he's harmful. She emphasizes that someone with mental illness is significantly more likely to be a victim than a perpetrator. Regardless, Rafe dislikes Jada being alone with him. At Bayview, Jada pressures Bobby for information on Lee. He recalls Connie's visit. His countenance tightens, and his eyes blink rapidly. He winces and holds his head. When he stops yelping in pain, he looks up at Jada with a shocked expression. Why do you call me Bobby? I am Everett. He glances around, perplexed, and wonders where he is. Jada runs off to find someone. In a flashback, Connie admits to Lee that she knows he's been visiting a therapist and offers to heal him. He accuses her of stalking him. She calls it caring for him. He angrily orders her to go. When she refuses, he decides to call the police. She grabs a knife and stabs him in the back. Panicking, she concludes it's not her fault because Gobby's tormenting him, with Melinda piling on, is why he rejected her. Gabby needs to see what she's done, so she texts Lee from her phone. Connie says farewell to Lee, saying they couldn't be together in life, but in death, Lee will always be hers. She begins to leave when someone knocks on the door. She hides as Gil enters to look for Ava. He gasps as he sees Lee's body. The black book falls from his grasp. As Gabby walks inside the Demera mansion, Kristen tells Ava to keep her mouth shut about sleeping with Stefan. Kristen takes a call, leaving an apprehensive Ava alone with Gabby. Gabby shows gratitude for Ava's sacrifices to keep her safe. She's glad Stefan didn't have to go through it alone. Stefan reluctantly joins them, and Gabby departs. What the hell was that about? Stefan demands of Ava. Kristen returns to update Stefan on Ava's hiring status. She joyously insults an unimpressed Stefan, Ava signs her contract, and Kristen goes to take another call. Stefan is concerned that Kristen or Harris will tell Gabby that they slept together. Ava convinces him that Kristen likes her, and Harris leaves Salem. So do not worry. Marlena arrives after Jada has returned to Everett at Bayview. She identifies him as Everett, who is in tears. They explain how Bobby took over, but Everett claims he is back and wants to get out of there. Marlena is overjoyed with his breakthrough, but believes he should stay a few more days. 
Everett is determined to rehabilitate, but he has a job and a relationship to return to. He wants to feel in control again. Marlena does not believe he poses a threat to others and agrees to sign his release. When Gabby meets Rafe at the pub, he informs her of Bobby's allegations regarding Lee's death. He tells her that it will not impede her release and encourages her to focus on regaining her life. He then tells her that Abigail may still be alive. At the flat, Connie explains that she wanted Gabby to be caught standing over Lee's body. She was terrified that Gil would wreck her scheme. In a flashback, Gil crouches down to touch Lee's neck. He feels a feeble pulse but does not require this level of trouble. He picks up the black book off the floor and goes. In the present, Connie explains that if Gil had called an ambulance, Lee could still be alive. She may have gotten away with it all if it hadn't been for that pesky Bobby Stein. Everett expresses gratitude to Marlena for everything she has done. She leaves, and Everett thanks Jada as well. She inquires if he recalls talking to her about Lee Shin. He reacts with confusion. She advises him to concentrate on getting better and goes. Everett's solemn gaze turns wry when he remembers Connie proposing him the bargain. Sounds like a plan, a smug Bobby says in the now. Kristen, alone with her brother, convinces Stefan that she has no cause to inform Gabby. Even if she did, she wouldn't do it to Ava, who is quite upset about what they did. Ava wishes to remain as far away from him and Gabby as possible. After Rafe has left, Ava enters the pub. Gabby approaches and proposes bringing Gabby Sheik into the Demera fold. What do you think about working together? Outside the pub, Jada expresses her trust in Marlena's judgment and thinks Everett is ready to be on his own. Marlena says that he no longer satisfies the requirements for an involuntary hold and can do whatever he wants. Everett has returned, which makes Jada pleased, but they may never find out who killed Lee. Bobby admits that while alone at the Salem Inn, he pretended to let Everett out in order to keep Connie's secret. Now Connie needs to do her bit and get Rafe out of his way. Rafe calls Paulina from the cemetery to arrange for someone to fill the hole. He chuckles, noting that an empty grave might be deadly. Connie appears behind Rafe and whacks him on the head. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers on Thursday, July 11th, Leo Stark will find down Marlena Evans for an ASAP therapy session, so he may cancel this hookup with Carrie and instead vent to her. Although Carrie boosted Leo's confidence, it's apparent that he wants to establish more meaningful interactions. Leo may slow things down with Carrie and attempt to avoid rushing into romantic relationships that won't be fulfilling in the end. However, it is feasible that Carrie will hook up with Leo and run away, leaving Leo feeling very used. Whatever the case, Day's spoilers indicate that Leo will have a lot on his mind, so Marlena will be there to help unpack everything. It turns out Marlena and Leo will end up watching TV together with some popcorn, so their night will still be enjoyable. Next, Day's spoilers predict Chad DeMera and Jack Devereaux will be reeling from Abigail DeMera's empty casket, so they'll keep Ray Fernandez and Jada Hunter updated on the shocking revelation. Jack and Chad will look at the tape Clyde Weston provided again, and they will begin to wonder if the mystery woman is indeed Abigail, especially now that it has been established that Abby's body is not in her casket. On Thursday's DOL episode, Doug and Julie Williams will learn of Abigail's missing corpse, but they will also take time to celebrate their love. This will be Bill Hayes' final day's appearance before he died, so fans will not want to miss his farewell scenes. It will be difficult knowing that Hayes has no more episodes remaining, but this one was undoubtedly memorable. Days of Our Lives spoilers suggest Doug and Julie will have a powerful chat at the Horton House, but we'll have more on Doug's demise later. Days of Our Lives spoilers for the week of July 15th to 19th state that Marlena Evans will scold E.J. DeMera for his role in keeping Jude Brady away from Eric Brady. Later, Johnny DeMera would discover EJ moping about the loss of Nicole DeMera, allowing him to gain updates on the entire terrible narrative and console his father despite EJ's poor choices. Meanwhile, Nicole will corner Leo Stark and allow him to use it for his own deception. DOL viewers will also see Nicole and Eric having an honest chat about their feelings, so they may reflect on their history and decide where they want to go next. Brady Black will be astonished to learn that Teresa Donovan is marrying Alex Kiriakis so soon. 
Brady will realize that the wedding is taking place that very day, and he may struggle with his own residual feelings for Teresa, regardless how difficult she may be. Alex will be surprised when Justin Kiriakis makes a great gesture, which could result in a lovely moment despite all of the tension over the last few months. Day's spoilers reveal that a double wedding is on the horizon, so Alex, Teresa, Xander Cook, and Sarah Horton will all prepare to exchange their vows. Before they marry, Xander plans to give Jack Devereaux a special gift. Is Xander going to give Jack back his share of the spectator? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.